recently I was teaching a student who was publishing fitness videos for their YouTube channel. They asked me to show them how to add a timer with a countdown. I'll show you in this video the technique on how to create a timer. You'll put that timer in a circle and then you'll be able to use and save your corporate colors. I'll also show you how to save the timer as a preset so you can use it for future projects. This technique only uses built-in effects. There are no plugins used. I'm Bruce McBride and I'm available for one-on-one -on -one personal tuition and Final Cut over the internet. Just click trainingfinalcutpro.com. In order to add the countdown timer, you need to access your generators at the top of the Final Cut Pro window. You'll use the counting generator as well as the shapes generator. Drag them both above the clip in the timeline. Let's work with the circle to start with. Select it in the timeline and in the inspector you'll see a white circle with a red outline. Select the word shape and the double arrows. There's a number of shapes to choose from. Select the six sided star. Click inside the fill color rectangle and the color wheel appears. You'll be able to select any color, but more importantly, you'll be able to use your actual corporate colors. Select a clip in the browser that has your corporate colors. It'll show in the viewer. The clips I've got in this video are from a gym that has black corporate colors. But for this video, I'll use the blue of the exercise mat so you'll see the effect more clearly. At the bottom left of the color wheel, click on the eyedropper. Move it over the corporate color in the viewer and click. The color selected will appear in the large square at the bottom left of the color wheel. Drag that into one of the smaller white panels. That color is now stored in that panel as a favorite and you can use it on any software on your Mac. Back in the inspector, drag the roundness slider. Increase the roundness and the width of the outline. There's other settings you can change, but it doesn't let you resize the object in the inspector. So what you need to do is to right click in the viewer and select transform. Select a corner blue dot and resize to make it smaller. Drag to an appropriate location in the viewer. Drag the star clip to a suitable portion of the timeline. The left hand edge of the star clip should be at the starting point of where you want the countdown to start. For this exercise, I'm going to count down six seconds. Click and drag on the right hand edge of the star clip and you'll see the seconds showing. They're showing in white. Now select the counter clip and drag that above the star. Set the counter clip to the same length as the star clip. Look in the inspector while the counter clip is selected in the timeline. Select the start at 6, the end at 0, and reduce the digits to 1. Right click again in the viewer and select transform. Drag the numbers to the center of the star. Play on the timeline. You can save the 6 second countdown for future use. Select both the counter and the star clip in the timeline. Right click and select new compound clip. That compound clip is also added to your browser. And if you want to create another countdown with different timing, select the compound clip in the browser and in the edit menu, select duplicate clip. That's command plus D. Double click the copy It'll open in the timeline. This time I'll set it to 10 seconds. Drag one of the clips from the right hand edge until 10 seconds shows. Now drag the other clip. Select the counter clip and in the inspector set the start to 10. In the browser change the name to 10 seconds countdown. Now click the previous arrow in the middle menu bar to show your project. Make sure all of the 10 second clip is highlighted in the browser and that's yellow all around it and drag above the clip in your project. And here's a warning, do not change any already created compound clips. Always duplicate before changing. Otherwise, you'll change the details in all places that compound clip 
has been used previously. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one tuition within Final Cut, just click on trainingfinalcutpro.com. I'll be happy to set up a personalized training program for you. But if you're just looking for answers on a specific topic, I also offer free Final Cut support via email, and that's for urgent issues as you're confronted with them. Click the eye above for the link to my free support site. Let me know in the comments below if you've got some areas that you struggle with in Final Cut, and I'd be happy to produce a video to help you solve those issues. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and press the bell. There are new videos every Sunday. Thank you.